<laughs> I like it. Well, we are less than a week away from Juneteenth, everybody. I'm here with Mona, and she is going to share some history behind the holiday as well as some tasty treats this morning. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. How are you today? I'm doing great. So you're going to teach me how to make one um, delicious dish. What do you have cooking today? So today we are going to do some red rice. We're also going to have some sorrel, okay. which is a hibiscus leaf-based beverage and then we also have a watermelon salad that has radishes and red onion. Ooh. You notice a theme about the color? Very colorful. Very colorful but one specific color. Um, there's green and then there's oh purple. Lots of red. Red. Red red red. 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 Got okay. all the red, red going on. Listen to Frank he's going red red red. Well I'm looking at the rice I'm looking at the the salad. I, yes I, red. I understand it's yeah. okay. So here's the thing Juneteenth is the celebration of the emancipation coming to Galveston yeah. Texas. It's the last place that people were informed that emancipation had occurred. However they are, it isn't the last place that emancipation actually was signed into law. Okay. It was signed into law in 1995. The 13th Amendment was ratified in Mississippi. So even though it seems like ancient history, it really mm -hmm. isn't. But for us, a lot of us are learning about our history and about the food that we prepare and why it's important. And for us, the red foods are very important because red is celebratory. Love that. Okay. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started. We have some rice here, but we also, I did all the hard work for you. Oh, thank so you. So look at this. Because you knew you're like, she's not a cook, and so we well, got to make sure. Know, I wanted to make sure you were happy. So you want to take these aromatics. We have okay. onions, we have peppers. Just pour it in here. And it goes right in there. Okay. Absolutely. Perfect. And then we're going to add some garlic because, you know, everything's better with garlic. Mm, of course. The more garlic, the better. Exactly. So... As long as we are talking about the garlic and mm -hmm. the onions, all the things, so little things that we learn about our history from our ancestors, because what is on our table is a generational inheritance. Okay, good okay. to know. All right, so while we're here and talking about all of these things, sorrel, as an example, it came from West Africa, because when people were coming still at the end of the Civil War when emancipation had already occurred. Mm -hmm. Those people were coming from West Africa and Texas was still practicing slavery. So they were coming through the Caribbean and they were bringing hibiscus with them. In Africa, they drink bisop, which is a different kind of flower, but the hibiscus flower is how we changed the paradigm and brought it up the road here to the United States. So we have these lovely purple flowers. It's beautiful too. Pretty to look at. We have allspice, we have cinnamon. Look at this. We have about 30 seconds. I want to make sure we get all of this in here. All right, so we, those were look the things pretty. that we did with yeah. that. And then we also have our watermelon. Okay. Watermelon is actually a fruit that became part of how people in the African diaspora earned a living after slavery had occurred. However, it was something that wasn't cared for by a lot of the public. So there was a trope created that watermelon meant that you were lazy, that you were shiftless, instead of that you were a person who worked hard yeah. for a living. Wow. 19th century, in the 19th century, watermelon was considered to be a yummy treat mm -hmm. until it became an economic way for African-American people to support themselves. There you go. Now we take these things and we bring them back to our table. We share them with our family and friends. You can't have any kind of celebration without red drink. Ask anybody you know, Sunday <laughs> school picnic. Yes, or anything absolutely. Like that. I love the history that you just taught us within the last three and a half minutes. It's so important, especially when we talk about the food and how we're going to celebrate Juneteenth. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you I so appreciate much it. It's so me. good seeing you. Are we're you going to send eat? it. Oh, I am going to eat, of you course. Better. Yes, it looks good. We'll send it over to Julie, though, in the meantime.